What's up, you all? What's going on? We are back. We are here. I'm going to adjust my camera. Okay, I feel like, I feel like that, that's a better angle. Um, This video is called Drake's Dark History with Female Celebrities. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, he has beef with a lot of females. Uh, female rappers, female celebrities. It's like, mm, why? Let's get into it, though. In his album, Her Laws, which left fans scratching their heads. I don't know who this what is. Exactly <laughs> happened I don't remember the name of this person's Megan channel, is but... Popularly known for chart -topping the link will be in the description. Scrubby, Captain Hook and Body, and has become one of the biggest female rappers in the game. However, more recently, she's made headlines <laughs> for a more serious reason. After being shot by Canadian rapper Tory Lanez in 2020. This incident led to a highly publicized trial, which concluded with Lanez being found guilty and serving 10 years in prison. So, Period. where does Drake come into this narrative? Well, the connection could be found in his 2022 album her laws specifically in the track circle loco the inclusion of the line lie about getting shots but she's still a stallion was interpreted as a diss against megan since a lot of people believe she was lying when she said that she was shot by tory as there was no was DNA she not to prove if she it. wasn't why is tory no lane's in jail lane's on that magazine. that's lying i told you didn't i tell y'all she was lying Man, that DNA evidence is everything. Inconclusive. The entire internet was basically split into two at the time. And at Who first, cares? Megan claimed that she thought nothing of the bars and that fans were just reaching. But as the number of tweets grew and media outlets exaggerated the rumors, she began to see it differently, prompting a response on her Twitter reading, stop using my shooting for clout. Since when is it cool to joke about women getting shot? Are you just gonna cut out the middle part? Ready to boycott about <laughs> you rap and dudes, that ain't what she said. <laughs> but dog pile on a black woman when she says that one of y'all homeboys <sighs> abused her. And when the That's facts funny. come out, remember, your favorite rapper stood behind a dude that shot a female Should be Even Lil Yachty, who had a hand in the writing process for some of the songs on the album took to social media to defend Lil Yachty, so, I don't listen to him. about getting shots but she's still a stallion has nothing to do with Megan it's about women lying about their butt shots you know like saying her ass is real when it's fake by this time he was being labeled with the term misogynoir which is a word that describes a deep-seated dislike against that 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 was not what Drake was talking about butt shots really 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 now, Lil However, Yachty. We need to ask ourselves if this I know you were a little slow, Megan, but as there doesn't seem to be much benefit for Drake in doing so. Being that he and Tori had actually developed some tension with each other back in the day, many believe that Drake definitely wasn't trying to defend him. Plus, it wouldn't be smart to risk angering a large portion of his fan base, which includes black women. The only logical explanation for this being a diss at Megan is this rumor that Drake had been curved by her sometime in the past, I can see that. to follow her on social media. But once Tori was actually found guilty, Megan wanted to get revenge, and she did so on her song Hiss, where she had an entire verse dedicated to roasting Drake. For things ranging from his liposuction rumors to the ab etching, fake accents, and of course, liposuction, the fake the accents. Most, that's crazy. His gangster image, which is something that Drake seems to hold in high regard. As he and it's like, why does he hold this in high regard, though? Because he did not. Never mind. Gangster, he is every chance he gets. Young Nickelodeon now, star with, with the own, rap but image. But recently shared a free sure. post on Instagram, which only fuels this narrative. But while Megan Thee Stallion wasn't able to take Drake's comments Drake is lightly, so Spice, another female artist childish in the sometimes. Album, so. Chose to respond differently when the Six God name dropped her. When Drake included a line in his song "Back Outside Boys," stating she's a ten trying to rap, but it's good on mute, many interpreted it as a dig at Ice Spice. To understand, it's important to know that when Ice Spice began gaining popularity in 2022, Drake DM'd her on Instagram, and their friendship blossomed that after much he invited. Her to his oh, OVO okay. festival that summer. Linking up with him was so cool. Like, he's mad, nice, and respectful. Um, we went to OVO Fest. This gesture by so girl, why y'all got beef? That he was on the prowl again. However, <laughs> he was trying to Drake smash, and he got curved, I guess. As it was reported shortly after that he unfollowed her on Instagram. It's been speculated that Drake unfollowed you afterwards. Do you want to tell us some tea on that? He did. I don't know why, though. <laughs> Shame on you, Drake. Shame on you. You shouldn't have done that. Many believe yeah, Drake are was so messy. I would some... never do it. If I was the, the celebrities, I would never do an interview with anyone. I would pull a Beyonce and never in interview. Because dang y'all in people okay. business. So when he uttered these lines on his album, everyone was expecting Ice Spice to lash out the same way that but has this. But the way she responded was totally different. As she went on to Twitter to voice that she was happy that she's at least a 10. This reaction from Ice Spice how does, was very how does surprising we know that this and won a lot of PR Ice Spice though. However, it's a different story for many other women who didn't get much positive attention from being associated with Drake. For instance, Millie Bobby Brown, Billie Eilish, and Bella Harris Millie Bobby were all teenagers Brown. Drake made contact with as they were at the cusp of fame, which many fans thought was sus if you catch my drift. Very sus. So this definitely raised a lot of eyebrows especially considering some of the weird things he would message to them you know we text we just texted each other the other day and he's like i miss you so much i was like i miss you more <laughs> girl what a grown man millie millie oh 11 oh 11 wait what 
Girl. The situation is even more weird with Bella Lord. Harris, who Drake reportedly rented out an entire restaurant to celebrate her 18th birthday. Although that's, both parties denied weird. that this ever happened, it was very odd that Bella would post this photo of both of them together with the caption, no place I would rather be. This is that's certainly weird. irregular behavior for a man of Drake's very age. Much. And this celebrity outreach by Drake has become so associated with his name that even new female artists like Tyla expected him to reach out as soon as she started to blow up. Like definitely Drake, like I was low-key waiting for him because right. I knew, hey, he's gonna come. He's right. gonna come. <laughs> Girl. So I was waiting for that follow and hey he was there so he followed you on oh Instagram. he did follow now, no so he really so he's a lurker in the press got people. it but we've never had an incident where any of these young celebrities complain about drake's character in fact we've had the complete opposite i love him i met him in australia and so um, then why is the title of the video called drake's dark drake history drake, female uh, celebrities drake clickbait is like the nicest dude i've ever spoken to i mean i've only like texted him but He's so nice. Like, I spice herself Girl, even without Billie Eilish. Up a relationship with Drake. We talk all the time and like, I'll ask him. So then why he unfollow you though, like, girl? How did you go about this? Or like, did you ever experience that? I don't got I time mean, for all the fakeness. I am, I'm, I'm seeing through all this fakeness. Yeah, yeah. This is all fake. Right. They're fake. I feel like he's, he gives great mental energy. Yeah, no, he really does. Like Source cool Apple Music. Apple Music being trifling now too. He said that was not about me. However, the case with tennis legend Serena Williams unfolded differently. But before we get into that, I need to tell you guys about this video sponsor. Internet and he began appearing at all her tennis matches. He also began hinting that they were in a relationship with tweets like this, as well as mentioning what? her in a few of his songs, kissing her in public, and even got into a beef with fellow rapper Common, who was her ex-boyfriend at the time, leading to one of the most savage disses of that era, with Drake's verse on Rick Ross's song, Stay Scheming. Eventually, Stay Serena scheming. and Drake went their separate ways, with Serena choosing to instead settle down with Reddit co-founder so of that white man. Man instead. Although, it didn't seem like that breakup was mutual. Since Drake would say some lines in a freestyle, implying that she wasn't into him anymore, he then made it clear in his song, Middle of the Ocean, where he boldly claimed that Serena Serena's husband was a groupie. He's sidebar, Serena, your husband a groupie. Uh -huh. This line immediately got people talking, but the general consensus being that Drake, Drake well, leave these after women him. alone. You Alexis seem miserable. In the classiest way possible. The reason I stay winning is because I'm relentless about being the absolute best at whatever I do, including being the best groupie for my wife and daughter. Period. And of course, the internet gathered to cook Drake once again. I'm gonna need a husband like Alexis Ohanian. Stay bitter and mad, Drake. Drake right. literally just jealous because he Who wants these other people when now? it comes to kids. Nothing quite compares to the relationship he had with the mother of his child, Sophie Brousseau. Drake and Sophie Brousseau's relationship may have been brief, yet it has eternally bound them through their son, Adonis. The duo, with Brousseau transitioning from an adult star to an artist, was first seen together in January of 2017, following Drake's breakup with Jennifer Lopez. By May, Brousseau he was, was with Jennifer with Lopez. A claim uh, initially denied by a representative. For Drake, Christian. you However, just in May of with anyone. The entire at this world point. was shocked when a rapper by the name of Pusha T exposed Drake's hidden son in his track "Story of Added On." A baby's involved. It's deeper than rap. We talking character let me keep with the facts you are hiding a child let that boy come home pusha also claimed that drake intended to okay, reveal his son's see. existence through an adidas produced by jay-z jay-z out here being someone. messy and after tons of backlash angry fans and deadbeat dad claims drake opened up about his child on the song emotionless from his album scorpion look at the way we live i wasn't hiding my kid from the world i was hiding the world for my kid then on the song march 14th he talked about sophie saying he said the same thing about his penis up. despite this drake and Brousseau have embraced that guy when he was on the airplane i was a hiding it from the world I was hiding but what the world from Drake, it or something. Kid primarily and boy, shut up. To his mom. Well, it doesn't always lead to a happy ending either, as seen in the situation with Johanna Lea. In 2021, Ooh, Drake and Johanna Lea, the mother of basketball prodigy Amari Bailey, were in a relationship for a few months, with their relationship becoming public knowledge How they, in July How are these people year. female During celebrities, time, though? Drake took on a mentoring role for Bailey, who was gearing up to play basketball for UCLA in 2022. At one point, he even gifted Amari with an iced-out chain of the owl from his OVO logo, but it was clear that Drake had ulterior motives, as not long after, he was frequently spotted with Amari's mom, Johanna. Their outings ranged from sitting together courtside at basketball games to more exclusive engagements, such as mm. the time they went viral for having a private dinner at the Dodger Stadium. However, by March of 2022, Leia mentioned in an interview that she was already single and exploring her option. This is the certified private dinner at that's, the that's Dodger right. Stadium. This I, man will yeah, spend I, some I, money I, to I get some. That's when crazy. When it comes to short-lived relationships, Drake is notorious for this. He had flings with notable names such as Hailey Bieber, Tyra Banks, SZA, Tyra Kylie Jenner, Banks. and many, many more. But while it seems like Drake is the one who usually he rejects the relationship with most of his dog and everyone, who Drake will seemingly do anything to have, but somehow fail to in the end, Rihanna. You see, it all started in 2009, which was a very turbulent year, marked by Rihanna's very public fallout with Chris Brown. If you don't remember, Chris Brown was accused of assaulting her during the relationship, and this ultimately led to their split that year. Most people expected Rihanna to take a break from dating for a long while after this, but someone unexpected stepped in, Drake. 
This was the beginning of relationship drama that would last for Back nearly Rihanna four had that years. Weird hair. At the time, you couldn't escape the rumors. They were Trini them gal. Yeah. When Rihanna was asked about the status of their relationship, she flat out denied oh, any involvement, stating that she prefers hot older men and that she and Drake were just hot friends. Older now, men, this could have been that Rihanna girl. was just keeping their relationship private, which she has been known to do in the past. But Drake's lyrics in his 2010 song Fireworks seem to tell a different story. As Drake states, I could tell it wasn't love. I just thought you'd fuck with me. Who could have predicted Lucky Strike would have you stuck with me? Damn, I kept my wits about me, luckily. What happened between us that night it always seems to trouble me lucky strike was the bowling alley that the two had been seen making out at drake clearly felt a strong attachment to rihanna that she wasn't reciprocating and Period, he didn't believe she was don't reciprocate him, she this man cloud chasing now all of a sudden these gossip rays want to cover me and you make it seem like it happened that way because of me and this notion was further strengthened by drake's own statements in an interview that same month where he said i was a pawn nice you know what she was doing to me she was doing exactly what i've done to so many women throughout my life which was show them quality time then disappear i was like wow this feels terrible but so you you know what oh, Oh my lord, Drake is deplorable, Rihanna, absolutely deplorable. However, they still go on to collaborate on his so together, when like, it happens to you, it's bad, but when you do it to other people, closer closer every time they performed it. it's okay. At this point, everyone truly believed that they were an item, even though I'm there was no him. confirmation. So I don't listen so to his music anyway, I'm gonna speed this video up. Chris Brown, and he was clearly bothered by the topic Chris Brown. asked about it in an interview. Don't ask me shit about that man when I come up there, you know what I mean? Like, and leave that man alone, you know? Stop preying on his insecurities, man, because, you know, his insecurities are the fact that I make better music than him, that I'm more popping than him, and that at one point in life, you know what I'm saying? The woman that he loves fell into my lap. I did what a real nigga would do and treated her with respect. From this point onward, oh. their relationship was pretty complicated to say the least. From Drake saying that they had That's their moment crazy. in 2013. We, we had our, our moment and you know, I mean, um, always, always support and, and have love for her and yeah. To them being caught on yet another date in 2014. Even after their iconic collaboration in 2016 on Rihanna's song Work, Rihanna would go on to Ellen saying work, that she was still singing. Work, 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 Text. But it very much appeared that she had a thing going on with Drake that she didn't want the world to know about at all. Especially after this happened at the yeah, VMAs in August of 2016. Man, man. Just She's someone I've been in love with since I was 22 years old. She's one of my best friends in the world. All my adult life, I've looked up to her even though she's younger than me. She's a living, breathing legend in our history. Yeah, that's so, of this, such a Drake weird thing to say. Online. With people saying stuff like, a moment of silence for my dude in the friend zone. Shit was deeper than the friend zone. Felt like Rihanna treats him like an old Uncle Bill. Drake the type of guy to ask where my husband. You look up to her even though she's younger than you, sir. So cringe. As he was seen kissing Rihanna on stage while performing in his Miami concert. Oh, but this is where the W yeah. with Rihanna kind of come to an end for Drake. As they officially split up in October of 2016, and Rihanna would go on to state that they weren't even friends anymore in 2018, which some rumors claim was because Drake cheated on her. Although Rihanna had moved on from the relationship, she would be spotted with Drake once again at his birthday party the next year. It seemed like Drake had resolved Rihanna. the issues, with Drake being happy to see her again. And when Rihanna <laughs> broke up with her new partner in 2020, Drake couldn't wait to get the ball rolling on the relationship once again unfortunately for drake asap rocky would eventually come into the picture, good job asap rocky any chance drake had of rebuilding a relationship with rihanna exactly for him to get clowned by everyone once again fast forward to 2023 and drake was utterly sick of everyone telling him how bad he fumbled rihanna and he vented his frustration out on his album for all the dogs with the track fear of heights when he disses rihanna saying the word how he knows it was about rihanna because because the word anti sex with rihanna was mid which is kind of weird to say about a woman you spent 14 years of your life chasing after right this is Bitter. Bitter. Antis is a popular location in Rihanna's home country, Barbados, and he hits Rocky again with Okay, Angry maybe this is a bit really rocky on the song Another Late Night, with Pretty Flacco being a reference to ASAP Rocky's nickname. But at this point, it's pretty safe to say that Drake still has Rihanna on his mind. Bitter. Bitter. Music, such as, Damn, Bitter. Really and Bitter as so hell and embarrassing. And then they Rihanna. I mean, just look at what he does. Okay, whatever. Well, what does what does he do? Collab with Rihanna comes up during one of his concerts. Yeah, I don't sing this song anymore. You can sing it. And amidst all of okay, but whatever. Yeah, Drake is just very very sad and an, an unfortunate man who still thinks that he is young and bucking and in his prime and he's not. He needs to go sit the hell down somewhere and um put put out some music that that I want to listen to because his recent stuff has not been hidden for me personally. But you know, other people like it. Not I, messy, just messy overall though. Drake, leave these these women alone, these female celebrities, quote unquote, as this video claims.